Not many developers or companies want to buy crummy buildings in Springfield and invest money into them, but one organization has made that their mission. Jay Mankara is president and CEO of Develop Springfield, and he's joining me today to talk about this. So I know crummy is usually not a word you hear on PBS <laughs> or on challenged. TV. Challenged. TV. Okay, that's another good word. But really, that's your focus. You guys are looking for those challenge buildings and you see hope and optimism where others Absolutely. wouldn't. Absolutely, that, that, that's exactly right. Uh, because it is our mission. You know, our, our focus is, well, just backing up a little bit, I mean, we are a nonprofit, you know, 501c3 development corporation that is devoted to stimulating revitalization and economic development in the city of Springfield. So those are exactly the types of uh, properties that we go after. Because while we do do a lot of things, we are involved in uh, you know, various planning projects, which are very important. Uh, but our focus is primarily on making strategic investments in bricks and mortar redevelopment projects that are really designed to have a maximum impact to stimulate additional private investment. So. We really do that by zeroing in on some of those properties that are the most challenged, properties that ordinarily a private developer would not go after, uh, and also ones that are particularly you know, strategically located and ideally meet multiple community goals, because we work very closely you know, in partnership with the city, uh, and we also work with other you know, nonprofit aligned organizations and other groups that are out there that have a similar goal. And I love how you guys are looking at some properties that were impacted by the tornado affected areas. Absolutely. I mean, one of the keys uh, you know, for our organization, which is a pretty young organization, we started in 2008. And, um, but it, w it really was the response to the tornado that uh, invigorated us and in many ways got us rolling. Uh, Develop Springfield, working with the city's redevelopment authority, took a lead role in the rebuild uh, effort, in the rebuild planning effort, I should say. And uh, the rebuild plan itself was completed just about two years ago. So we are uh, coming up on the anniversary of when that was released to the public. In fact, stay tuned. We're going to be having a, an event related to that. Um, and that's kind of what, what galvanized us in many ways. While we were doing some things before that, there was a strong sense after the tornado that now really is the time to make some, some true and significant investments uh, in actual bricks and mortar redevelopment. So definitely we're focused on tornado impacted neighborhoods. But of course, we are a citywide organization. So we're focused on the State Street Corridor. Uh, we're doing a, a project right now in the Worthington Street area. So the, the city is our canvas, if you will. But, but certainly, we still have a lot of challenges in tornado impacted neighborhoods. The one area, the bottom line for an average developer would be money. How, what, what's right. going to be their return on investment? What would you say Develop Springfield's bottom line is? What's going to be the return to the community? You know, that, that is really what our goal is. And uh, ultimately, we want to, when we, when we talk about some of these challenged buildings and challenged areas, uh, we want to change the underlying market conditions so that we can reach a point where it does make sense for those private developers to come in and make those investments. Uh, so when we say stimulate redevelopment and stimulate revitalization, that's really what we mean. Uh, so if I could just get, you know, give an example of a project, you know, one of the buildings that we've purchased is known as a gun block on the corner of State and Walnut Streets. That's considered to be or believed to be the oldest commercial building that's left in Springfield. It's vacant. It's condemned. It's got the big red X on it. You know, it's on, but yet it's on a major street, major intersection right across the street from Springfield Technical Community College. So those are the kinds of things. The whole area, you've got a two block span there that, that's struggling, but that is the worst property and yet probably the most significant on that stretch so by turning that property around that is you know right now it's having the opposite effect it's having a blighting effect on the area we turn that around hopefully that changes the conditions enough to attract those private dollars so for us certainly there's no way you're going to make an investment that you're going to recover in a property like that uh, hopefully we could leverage tax credits and we go after grants and you know, contributions. Those are all the kinds of things that we want to do. But if we can make you know, a an impact, that positive impact on the community, then we've met our bottom line. And that's how you guys are able to survive, whether through grants or tax credits or private donations, you're able to kind of funnel all of that back into Springfield. That's right. And that, that's, that's exactly what we do. 
and you know these projects won't have a return hopefully some of them will some of these days we'll have something that, that does have a positive return and if we do then that gets plowed right back into the projects that, that we're doing all right so t- tell us any other exciting projects that you guys are working on in Springfield well or plans or Certainly, I mean, we do, we do have a few others. We have another historic property that we're rehabbing on the corner of Maple and Union Streets. Uh, that, you know, it's 83 Maple Street. People know it as the Ansel Phelps House. Also similar, very historic uh, property, prominent, uh, located, people know the building. And it was in an advanced state of deterioration. So we're bringing that back. Uh, we bought the uh, former River Inn site uh, also on State Street. And in that case, that wasn't a historic property. And, and that was property that we, uh, we demolished the building there. And now that's a future redevelopment site. We're working to try to bring a full line grocery store to the Mason Square neighborhood. And that's really a project that's coming from more of a public health perspective, trying to get access to fresh and healthy foods to the community, as well as creating jobs and, of course, stimulating, hopefully, more private investment in that neighborhood. And as you mentioned, we are also working with the city and with some private developers to get uh, new homes built in the Six Corners neighborhood. That was, you know, that is really along Central Street corridor in particular, where, where the tornado hit. And of course, we are also always looking for that next meaningful project, that next opportunity, uh, you know, to make a worthwhile investment in the community. Very so. exciting. Thank we you so think much, so. Jay Mankara from Develop Springfield. Thank you. Thank you.